Hello, this is Vampire. Uh, this is actually going to be an improvement video on a video that I made before talking about uh, ranges of combat. Okay, so uh, in the previous video I said that there was three. And in this video I'd like to add a fourth one, okay? And the premise is pretty much the same, but hopefully my presentation in this video will be better and uh, hopefully you'll find it uh, more useful, uh, easier to understand and whatnot. So, okay, uh, let me get started right away. So, four ranges of combat and it's pretty much universal, so it doesn't matter what style that you train in, you should be able to apply it to your style, okay? It's not just Filipino martial arts. Um, all right, so the first one is long range. Long range, if Stickman is my opponent, long range is something like this, okay? I have ample distance right here, okay? The next one is medium range. And then the next one is close range. That's number three. And then number four is going to be ground range, where I'm fighting on the ground, okay? So those are the four ranges. Let me go into some more detail. Super easy to remember, right? So... Long range right here, like I said, we have ample distance, so that's going to give me some reaction time, all right? Medium range is right here, and medium range is basically, uh, people define it differently, but the way that I define it is it doesn't take much for me to land a strike onto my opponent. Boom, right here. It could be a, it could be a knee. It could be a kick, it could be boom, an elbow. Whatever the case, it doesn't really take much for me to land a shot on them and vice versa for them to also hit me. You know, maybe they just take one step or even less to actually make contact to me. So that's medium range. Close range is right here. You pretty much got your head, butt, elbow, boom, and your knees, right? Those are the, the main tools right there that's oftentimes taught in close range. And then of course you have your throws, your submissions, standing submissions, and things of that nature, takedowns as well, all right? And then of course ground is pretty much, I think um, no one argues about what ground fighting is. So, you know, you pretty much got your ground fighting. Okay, so here's uh, what I would like for you guys to do. This is your homework, okay? So for your homework, I don't care what style it is that you practice, I want you guys to, in order to put that into practice, okay, look at your techniques and put them into those categories. Put them, what techniques can I use in long range? What techniques can I use in medium range? What techniques can I use in close range? And what techniques do I have in uh, ground range? Okay, so, so do that, okay? And for those of you that you may not have anything or you may not know where to start, uh, I'm going to show you one pretty much one technique for each of those ranges. Um, and I'm gonna show you from a Filipino martial arts perspective. So in long range right here, we have the figure eight, the downwards figure eight, where you start off doing an X like this, but then you make it into a figure eight motion like this. And this is for long range. And then I'm using this as a flail, but I'm also using it to defang the snake like so, okay? so. I am striking onto their arm. One, two, like that. One, two. And notice I keep my distance because that is a characteristic of long range. I want that distance, okay? So now, in medium range, pretty much in Filipino martial arts, what they teach is to just go ahead and boom, attack. One, two, three, four, and then five is my stab. So that's the five angles of attack. You just pretty much attack, attack, attack in medium range. Okay, so next, close range. So in close range, um, I could use the hook right here to hook and move their arm out of the way. Boom, place the stick, go into a choke right here, adjust the stick, boom, here's my, uh, here's my choke in close range. And now for ground range, what I recommend is, uh, I have my bag right here, is to practice going knee on the belly like so, putting your knee, dropping your knee onto them to pin them onto the ground. And traditionally what's taught is if you're military, this is where we finish the bad guy. If you're a police officer, this is where you cuff and arrest the bad guy. 
Okay, so what I recommend is to come over here, run, touch something, run back, go right away. Knee on the belly right there, you can strike whatever you want. And run over here and run back to the boom, boom, boom. Because what I see is a lot of people, when they, in a real life situation, they try to go, they try to use their knee and they fall over. They end up on the, on the ground. Both people on the ground just rolling up around like that in a wrestling match. The idea of using your knee to pin them down there and to finish them or to arrest them is a good idea, but it does take practice. So that's my recommendation. Please practice. Thank you for watching and take care, folks.